gonna teach the emergency turn so that when you're out and about with Brooklyn, she sees another dog. This will be tools in your toolbox. She sees another dog and you can turn her. If you teach the turn here before you ever see another dog, it'll be easier out there when you ask her because she won't have any emotional ties to it. And if you create it like it'll be a game, hey, this is a fun game. When you're out and about and you ask her to turn, once again, she won't feel any aggression or, or be threatened. So you can, she's a smaller dog. You can do this little game any way you want. Do it a few times a day if you can. Go real slow, keep the treat in front of the nose. Make sure it's a really good treat. <laughs> So she might turn better this way. And this is a this is good that it's happening because sometimes it's hard to get a dog to do it. So now I have to figure out and try a few different things. Okay, she's not gonna do it. What else can I try? Let's try this. I'm standing. Maybe it'll be easier if I stand. Come here. Maybe turn, there we go. So this is how I'm gonna start with Brooklyn. I'll do it with her, I'll move with her. And then I'll practice on trying to get her to do little tight circles at home um, some other time. Turn, good girl. Come on, there you go. Good girl, so we're walking along. Over here, we're walking along, come on. Turn. Good job. That even might be more realistic for her because that's probably what it's really going to look like when you're out and about. So we're walking along. Turn. See how easy it is to practice in the house? Yeah. And then you can practice. So that was right side turning, right? You want to practice both ways. I always teach the dog to walk on my left or my right, just in case. Turn. So you can have the dog turn on the inside and then turn on the outside. She's picking this up real easy. Now it's your turn. Okay. Shut her up. 